Hi everyone! In this video, we will talk about white balance. Up until recently, I was just randomly sliding to the left or right, depending on the mood I'd like to give to my renders, but let's see how we should actually be using it. First off, let's see what white balance is. It's a photographic term and refers to the process of removing any color cast or tint from your photos. The aim is that objects that appear white in real life are also rendered white. Why do we usually have to adjust the white balance? Because most light sources that we use in a scene, like the sun or our lights, do not emit purely white color and have a certain color temperature. I personally use 3500 Kelvin, so I use warm lights. And this means that I need to adjust my white balance. This is the latest project I'm working on. All the lights in my scene are warm, as I said, 3500 Kelvin, so this is the render I'm getting. So, it's like the whole image has an orange filter. How do we use white balance in V-Ray? Go to the V-Ray frame buffer window, click on the Create layer button, and choose White Balance. Select White Balance and go to its properties. Go to the temperature and slide to the left or right depending on the color tint you wish to remove from your image. So, if I slide to the right, my image gets warmer, while if I slide to the left, my image gets cooler. Setting the correct white balance can be tricky because we are usually affected by our own aesthetic perception. So, what we need to do is to choose a neutral reference. What is a neutral reference? Check for the white parts in your scene. My walls are supposed to be white, so I will slide to the left, mainly focusing on my walls, making sure they look white. That means that I will slide until I remove the yellow tint they now have. Be careful because the more I slide, they will start to get blue, so I will leave it somewhere here, where it's still neutral. Now, if in your project you don't have any white references, the easiest thing you can do is to just open a white sheet next to your render to use it as a reference. I have here a blank uh, Word document and based on this, I see that I might need to go a bit warmer. In general, in our 3ds Max scene, you won't see the white color to read evenly. That means that this upper part will look darker, grey instead of white, since the light doesn't cast directly on the surface. Or these white parts will look warmer, yellowish, since the LED lights I have on the ceiling are warm. So be careful which part of your scene you will use as a reference when you do your comparison. This white book over here can also serve as a good reference. That's all with the white balance, I hope now it's clear how it works. I will see you all in my next video, take care!